Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and I am back with another episode. Today I have this kitchen I was working on in Revit 2019. I exported and imported into SketchUp Pro 2018. Um, so we're going to go ahead and just add some Render 2.0 materials. So uh, let's get started. So this is a nice big open kitchen. First, I, I like to start with the floor. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the floor. Um, so online repository. We'll go to wood. Actually, no, there's a different wood I want to use. Let's go to floor. Yeah, I think it's the third. Is it the third? Yeah, here we go. Really like this wood. Okay, let's go back to get a render here, see what our floor looks like. Okay, so it's really dark right now, so we definitely need to add some lighting. Um, I like how that light comes in though, that's pretty nice. But you can almost see the floor, you can see the reflection. It's going to be a nice floor, but let's, let me throw some lighting in here real quick. All right, so I went ahead and added some lights in here, um, some light fixtures also. Uh, so let's go ahead and check this render out again. Nice, so, so you can see the floor here. The floor is really nice. I really like this floor. I used this at work actually and I was really impressed by it. Alright, let's continue here. Alright, let's add some material to these cabinets. I want to do like a gloss paint um, material. So uh, what we'll do is let's go ahead and choose this cabinet. The good thing about drawing this up in Revit is when you bring it in it comes in as a component already. So uh, it saves you a lot of time. So every cabinet that that's this exact cabinet will be changed at the same time. Um, so let's just go down to uh, a shiny material. Reflective white. Perfect. So we'll apply that to that one. And let's go. Let's just jump over to this one here. Let's go ahead and get these. Get that there. Okay, I got those. All right, I want to do my upper cast same material. Okay. Add the same material there. these above these decorative beams let's go ahead and apply that all right let's run a render and see what we got oh Okay, this is looking good. And you kind of get a different reflection here because you got the sun shining in on it. Um, we can take that away and add a light back here, but actually I kind of like it. Let's go ahead and hit the countertops. We're going to make them all the same. So let's just go down to Um, stone here. Let's go to the first one and right here. I 
All right, let's add some cushion um, material to the cushions here on the seats. Let's go up to cloth. Here we go. Nice leather right here. Okay, let's get the stoves, add some stainless steel to it. Steel. Let's get down here. And let's not forget about the sink. Pendant lights, I want to make it the same material as that gloss. Go ahead and hit that baseboard there. And let's get the ceiling. It'll also have that same material. All right, let's run a render. Nice. This is looking really good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and um, add another light back here. I'm going to put I'm going to add a material to these poles and these poles also right here so they can match the bronze that we have on the smaller poles and um, add a light here under under the um, stove vent and we'll be done so thanks for watching the video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe thanks